BlairPod57. You suck, man. Loser. Boy, you're getting on my nerves. I, 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 I think you're just terrible. You disgust me. Blair, I feel your pain. I think you're going to do a good job. Monica likes you, too. You know what I'm saying? Double duty. Get the blood mop. It's Larry Hines. Hi, everybody. BlairPod57. 57 varieties. Yeah, I just love them all. Hello there, Larry Hines here with my second podcast. This one is for Jim Morrison, one of the greats, I think one of the standout voices of all time. Besides mine, of course. He really had some music. I mean, I was just so impressed with his music. Probably one of the biggest Doors fans of all time, and he only lived till 1971. A little bit about Jim, he was an American singer, poet, and songwriter. He was remembered very much, of course, as the uh, lead singer for the Doors, and also a guy who just caused a lot of problems for the band in general. Due to his songwriting and his baritone, beautiful voice, he had a wild personality and performances. He is regarded by critics and fans as one of the most influential rock and rollers of all time. And he had a crazy, tragic, nutty, wacky, insane, party down life. And he was one of pop culture's most rebellious and often displayed icons. So let's kick it off a little bit about Jim Morrison. Jim, you're a freak, man! Pretty sad that Jim Morrison died at the age of 27. He was a multi-talented, multi-instrumentalist kind of guy. He was also well known for the uh, improvisation of spoken word poetry passages while the band played live. Morrison was ranked number 47 on Rolling Stone's 100 Greatest Singers of All Time, and he made other charts like Classic Rock Magazine. Ray Manzarek said that Morrison embodied the hippie counterculture revolution. Not saying Morrison's a strange cat, but he also referred to himself as uh, Lizard King, King of Orgasmic Rock. Morrison also had a very serious alcohol problem. Died at the age of 27 in Paris. Not alcohol, though, it was heroin. Okay, so this guy kind of like, he liked them all. Did them all all at once. The exact cause of Morrison's death is uh, disputed. He liked to party down. Jim Morrison's grave is located once again in Paris. And now a music montage of Jim Morrison at the doors. Wishful crystal water covers everything in blue. When the Music's over Like to 
see what happens. Lairpod 57. A very talented guy, Jim Morrison, died at 27 in a bathtub. I mean, I, I really hope it had a lot of champagne in it because what a way to go. He uh, lived fast and quick. Occupations for this man considered musician, singer, songwriter, poet, filmmaker, director, and actor. The man did it all, and he was mostly active from 1963 to 1971. Morrison met his long-term companion, Pamela Corson, before he gained fame and fortune. She encouraged him to work on the poetry. They had a very steamy, hot, angry, bitter relationship and an open relationship, and some say the open relationship really caused a lot of problems. A little bit about Jim's band, The Doors. They were an American rock band formed in 1965 in L.A. Jim Morrison, of course, the main voice, keyboards, Ray Manzarek. The drummer was John Densmore and the guitarist, Robbie Krieger. And they took their name from the uh, Doors of Perception book. On September 17th of 1967, The Doors gave a performance of Light My Fire on The Ed Sullivan Show. And according to Ray Manzarek, network executives asked them to not use the word higher to remove it and say better. And that never happened. They got in a little pissing match, old Jim Morrison and Ed Sullivan. Got a little ugly, but uh, it happened, and it was kind of cool. Jim Morrison and The Doors had many albums. In 1966, The Doors, the initial album, was released. 1967 released Strange Days. 1968, Waiting for the Sun. 1969, The Soft Parade. And 1970, Morrison Hotel. L.A. Woman in 1971. Other Voices also in 1971. In 1972, Full Circle. In 1978, An American Prayer. Hope you enjoyed my little uh, talk about on Jim Morrison and some of the doors. I enjoyed it. It's a great band. And thanks for listening to Lairpod 57. Lairpod 57. You suck, man. Loser. Boy, you're getting on my nerve. I, 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 I think you're just terrible. You disgust me. Larry, I feel your pain. I think you're going to do a good job. Monica likes you, too. You know what I'm saying? Double duty. Get the blood mop. It's Larry Hines. Hi, everybody. Lairpod 57. 57 varieties. Yeah, I just love them all. <laughs>